hey 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 sagittarius this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your wednesday july 1st to the 2nd intuitive love tarot read this is for my saggies sun moon rising venus jupiter and north node this will not resonate with everybody of course but hopefully it will with you guys today please don't forget to like share and subscribe right down below there saggies before you leave i do appreciate it and thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information can be found in the description box below to my Etsy shop. I'm going to grab some cards here and then get a channeled message for you from Spirit. Also, please check out my community page. Um, I made a post there. Diane from 303 High Priestess Tarot lost her beautiful son, Demarcus. Uh, to heart failure. I believe it was this morning, this morning or last night. Um, this was something that just came out of the blue. And so it seemed because the other night he had went into the hospital for kidney failure, liver failure. Oh, okay. Um, yes, kidney failure, liver failure. Um, so there's a link there for her GoFundMe page to help her with all the medical bills and the funeral expenses. So um, I'm sure she would appreciate any support that she can get. So if you can't afford to donate, then at least send your love and prayers and keep them in your heart. Okay, so Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We have the Hierophants. The Knight of Wands, the Sun card, the Six of Cups. Oh boy. Okay. Let me get this message, Sagittarius. Let yourself go. Sagittarius like let it go it, and I'm feeling this is like oh my god I'm starting to feel emotional like an emotional oof let go like I want to cry they're saying just let it go let it go There's so much energy build up in the heart space, Sagittarius. You may be, this may be something currently happening now, or it could be something that happened in the past. Mercury is retrograde. So it could be bringing shit all to the surface right now. But Spirit's really encouraging you. You need to let this go, whatever it is. And I feel like it's, it's an, an abundance of emotion. Now, you can do that through crying. You can do that through creativity, writing, painting, you know, let it out, but just let it out in some way, okay? I mean, even if you sit there and you're like, well, I'm not the crying type, that's fine, that's fine. Go release that energy in a way that's going to serve you, in a, in a, in a way that's going to help you express these emotions that are bundled up inside of you, Sagittarius. You just can't, it's like, don't, don't go paint to avoid it. No, paint to express, right? To bring up and express and release to the world in a, in a positive way. Let your perspective, say it is painting, let your perspective on this pain be poured on the canvas or the page if you're a writer, right? And that's how you touch people. That's how, you know, when people see your painting, that energy is transferred. That energy doesn't die, okay? So when you pour your energy into a painting, when you pour your energy into a piece of writing, right? Somebody reads that piece. You can feel that energy, okay? And there is a response um, and a connection Whoever's meant to see it will see it. 
and get that connection and gain insight that they need. Okay, or any message that's within that energy for them. So your pain essentially becomes a gift to the world. So don't deprive us of your gift, Sagittarius. How dare you? All right. So we've got the Six of Cups over the Hierophant. Oh, Sagittarius. Um, this is definitely about the past because now I want to cry again. This could have to do with the Taurus or just a commitment or a marriage. It could have to do with a marriage from the past. It could have to do with a commitment from the past. Oh, wow. Um, the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And here we have the soulmate from a past life again. I feel like y you guys want to just run. Say that again. They're trying. I can't get the rest of that sentence. ride like the wind because they were trying to give me a song is that a song ride like the wind is that like an old song so first i thought they said run then they said ride ride like the wind yeah so ride like the wind sagittarius okay so let's do some clarifying tell me about the six of cups for sagittarius why is this here Oh boy, five of swords. Yeah, this is why the sadness. I feel it's a, it's a combination of happy and sad memories that are coming up for you, Sagittarius, about this particular relationship. Anger, jealousy with the five of swords. You're keeping this there you're keeping this all to yourself. This is why they're saying express it. Now, you don't have to express it to somebody. Sometimes that's not even a good thing. Too many people put their energy, insert their energy into shit that just, they, it doesn't belong. So keep it to yourself. Yeah, but just pour it, uh, pour it out some way. Some way. This could be a twin with the high priestess here. Tell me about the Hierophant. <clears throat> the queen of cups and the seven of cups this could be dealing with a cancer scorpio pisces or somebody that has the qualities of the queen of cups right now this has to do with options confusion so you may be confused as to this person um this is somebody who's very intuitive very caring nurturing see see why you're confused though i know you're feeling very emotional about this who is this queen of cups to sagittarius who is this queen of cups oh queen of pentacles this could be an empress <clears throat> it's your destiny sagittarius this is card of capricorn it could be a capricorn but i'm seeing an emperor and empress here it's just feminine energy right Definitely. Interesting. You have the high priest and the high priestess on the board. The Hierophant is the high priest to the high priestess, right? But this is destiny. This is Jupiter, luck. That's karma as well. We're going to clarify the seven of cups. Clarify the seven of cups. Uh, five of pentacles. So you may be feeling left out in the cold from this individual. <clears throat> ghosted yeah there was a horrible ending here there was betrayal lies backstabbing and this is what you need to let go of there's so much letting go i think you're the third sign i'm doing and this is all about letting go wow and I feel like this is why Mercury retrograde is coming up. And, and oh, that's right. Neptune is going, um, 
I think it's retrograde, retrograde in Pisces, right? Now, Neptune is the planet of illusion. Now, when it's retrograde, you actually see things clearly. So bringing this up and looking at this, you'll be able to get a clearer picture and a more truthful perspective on this situation, at least with yourself, right? Instead of seeing something maybe that you thought you wanted to see, you'll actually see beyond that veil. So take advantage of this time. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Yeah, Empress, told you, told you. It's the Empress. The cards don't lie, man. Taurus, Libra, energy. Yep. This could be a twin here. You got the four of wands here. And this is clarifying the sun card. Past life, soulmate, energy. You got Leo energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This has to do with marriage, long-term commitment, foundation, right? With the four of wands here. You really got to look at this again to finally, you, it needs to all come up and be expressed in some way, some way, and it doesn't matter which way. You just have to express it, Sagittarius. You're creative, right? And you're gonna feel, oh, so much freer. Advice for Sagittarius? Yeah. Walk away from this. You'll be able to walk away from what is no longer serving you from this situation, okay? Now, I'm not saying walk away from the person. That's not what it's saying. What I feel it's saying, or you could, doesn't matter if you're walking away or not. But the, with this walking away, it's more, you need to walk away from the Ten of Swords feeling. You need to walk away from this five, all these feelings of confusion, of loneliness, of betrayal, of backstabbing, of anger, of jealousy, all those, it's, it's like ridding yourself of those devil energies, right? Advice again for Sagittarius, yeah. Yep, stand in your power and know your worth. I feel after you look at this situation, you're gonna get a better sense of who you are and you're going to be able to stand in your power. You're going to be able to be more confident about your decisions, right? And I feel that's because you'll understand yourself more and why you made some of the decisions that you did in relation to this relationship because all we can do is look at ourselves we you know we can blame everything outside of us all day long but that doesn't change anything how does that serve anything it just perpetuates that negative energy and who the fuck wants to deal with negative energy right if you have a choice you have a choice to deal with it instead of being a victim so you look at yourself and you say okay well this shit happened how did I play a part? What did I, what, what did I do? What were my actions? And am I okay with those actions? Right? Then, it, then you can dig to the beliefs and so on and so forth. But when you come out and you emerge from the Sagittarius, you're going to blossom into a beautiful flower. Okay? That's going to continue to grow and grow and grow and be abundant. You're going to be able to attract abundance to you after this. Yeah, six of pentacles. I feel like this is one of the things that you need to look at. Oh shit, is it 14? These are so long today. I don't know why I can't stop. Okay, six of pentacles. This is some one of the things that you need to look at. You know, somebody was giving to two people. Split energy, okay? All right, I gotta go because I got nine more signs to do. You have yourself a fantastic day, Sagittarius. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below to my Etsy shop. Don't forget to take a look at the community page for the GoFundMe link for Diane uh, for the 303 High Priestess Tarot um, for Demarcus and Diane and her family, okay? All right, Sagittarius, have a good one. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.